Hello, hello, people of YouTube. It's Cass here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hack games, pretty much any game, with Lucky Patcher. Now, the game in particular that I'm going to show you guys how to hack, or patch, I'm going to say patch from now on, because patch is basically what it is, is Hunt Cook. This is a Japanese game where you serve customers from your restaurant, you go ahead and you hunt, and then you have to skin the animals and you cook it in the restaurant and the stoves, pots, and the boiling process, all that stuff. If you guys want to know more about this game, I will make a, I'll go ahead and make a video on this game if you guys want it. Probably make I'll probably make one anyway, but if you guys want more videos after the one I'm going to make probably today, then I'll definitely go ahead and do that. So, how to patch Hunch Cook or pretty much any game that's not multiplayer. And that's really not, it's popular, but like not that popular at the same time. Like sur Subway Surfers, you can patch um, with Lucky Patcher. You can do that with uh, Lucky Patcher. So what you have to do is you have to go to Google Chrome, which I'm going to go right here. And um, once you open that up, you want to search Lucky Patcher in your search bar. As I have here. Click on the first one. The first one for me says Lucky Patcher version 6.6.0 by Chelpus. You want to click on that one. And then you want to click on the download button here. And then you want to go down a little bit. Or actually, you don't have to go down at all. Um, after where it says note, although stable functioning of Lucky Patcher can't be 100% guaranteed, da da da, you want to click on download original Lucky Patcher. And it will take you to this ad fly page. Don't click on anything except for when it says after it says after it finishes uh, um, the five seconds. Uh, just click on X on this. It's not you don't download that. Uh, you want to click on skip ad. And also another thing I should mention is that in order to do this correctly, you have to go to your settings. Oh, sorry. Let me exit that out. Now that's gonna happen to you maybe once. Um, you want to go to settings security and you want to put on unknown sources at, um, under device administration when you go down a little bit after under device administration you want to cut on unknown sources because by default it's off um, you want to cut on unknown sources and make sure it's 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 on it's a green so then you can exit that out then you can finish installing lucky patcher so you want to go down to the bottom to install the, the latest version that you can Get online. So you want to click on Lucky Patcher version 6.6.0 APK. It'll take a little bit to install. Not that big of a deal. Once you finish this installing, you want to click on it. Click on just once. And then you want to install it, obviously. And then once it finishes installing, I'll go ahead and show you guys everything after that. Um, pretty much after you finish installing, when you open it up, it's going to show you a bunch of stuff that you have to install right on the right on uh, out of the blue but it's not going to take that long so press open as you can see there's some loading packages that has to install it's not going to take that long maybe like five seconds at most and then once you finish installing the packages you're going to see a bunch of apps that are going to pop up and i'm just going to click on clean that won't pop up if you have clean mass if you don't have clean master which i highly recommend you install clean master clean master is going to significantly improve your performance um, especially at those times where your phone seems really, really slow. So as you can see, I have a bunch of apps here. All of these games that I have, all these apps. Now let me show you guys the color coding. Purple means that at the very least, there's in-app purchases that you can uh, do in the, uh, in the in the app. So for example, Roblox, it has Google Ads, but it also has in-app purchases. Now if I go to another one, say... Um, one that only has only has in-app purchases. Look, maybe I can find one of those. Clash Royale. There's no Google ads found, but it does have in-app pur in -app purchases. As you can see, it's the only one that um, you can patch. However, it's still purple compared to the other ones that also have Google ads found and in-app purchases found. Blue means there's only Google ads. Um, now, if you guys see this, a new version of Lucky Patcher is available. Um, just click on update. Um, it will make it a lot easier for you to actually download uh, or patch the games that you want to patch that are patchable. So just once, then you want to click install, 
it's the same thing except it's just gonna it's there's no new permissions that uh it adds on so uh just click install and it'll finish updating it and then you know you'll have a higher chance of being able to patch the games that you want to patch if you do update and there's a lot more features that are added and translations and all that stuff so after that you just want to exit lucky patch and all that stuff then you want to reopen it and so as you can see okay so blue means there's only google ads found orange means that there's at least um custom patch available as soon as it says custom patch patches available that means it's going to be orange um Okay, actually, no, let me rephrase that. So, um, orange means there's custom at patches available and in-app purchases found. Yellow means there's only a custom patch available. Um, and then red means that there's nothing that you can patch. That means everything on here, um, everything that you can do without buying anything, although most of some of the stuff you don't have to buy anything anyway, like both of those breakfasts you buy from the Google Play Store, that's it. Um, everything in red there's nothing you can up, uh, there's nothing to patch there so or at least there's nothing to patch that's visible so um, you kind of have to just dodge those ones so once you kind of you know get used to the layout here you want to click on hunt cook which is the game I'm going to show you guys in particular click on open menu of patches now there's two things that can happen either you have a rooted Android device because you have to have Android in order to do this I'm pretty sure you can't do this with, with Apple devices Sorry, people that use iPhones or any Apple uh, or, or iOS. Um, either you have a rooted Android device and you'll have several options here, including created a modified APK file, or you don't have a rooted device like I do, and the only option you have is create modified APK file. Either way, click on create modified APK file and then click on APK rebuilt for in-app and level em emulation, which is in the middle of um, all of these so it's the one in the middle click on rebuild the app and it's going to rebuild the app right in front of your face it says please wait and once that finishes it's going to take you to another screen the screen is going to have like two green lines and then two red lines if it has two green lines it most likely means that the that it worked um so once this finishes installing or once this finishes doing the patch whatever it has to do then i'll go ahead and show you guys what to do after that pretty straightforward um it might be a bit confusing though which is why i'm going to show you guys everything uncut as much as possible so anything that i have to, i have to cut because it's not working or something for some reason then i'll have to go ahead and cut it but other than that i don't think i have to cut anything because i'm pretty sure i did the, did it right um if you guys have any problems um with this i'll go ahead and uh go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll go ahead and help you guys with anything that you need help with um I will say that it's a lot easier to do this on a rooted, rooted device. It's a, it works a lot better, um, and you have I think you have a low a lot more chance of getting the uh, the patch to work. But for this, it, it it's it's gonna work. So, but if it doesn't work, just leave a comment down below and I'll go ahead and help you guys. So as you can see, there's there's patch patterns N1 through N4, N3 and N4 failed. But as you can see, N1 was a success was a success and pa uh, patch pattern and two was a success as well so what you want to do is you want to click on go to file and then you want to click on uninstall and install if you choose install what's going to happen is that it's not going to be able to, to, to go through because you already have this app installed what you would have to do is you would have to uninstall uninstall the app you would have to click on the home button uninstall the app from the uh from your uh um from your main page and then you would go back in here and you would click install however it's a lot easier just to click on uninstall and install so just click on that you want to make sure that make data and cache for uh, backups for installation is checked press yes once that goes through it's going to ask you to uninstall the app so um press ok it's going to finish uninstalling and then once it finishes uninstalling it's going to go straight to the other page open with package installer just once I always click on just once because that's just how I am. And then you want it, it's going to look for residual files for me because I have Clean Master. Install, and it's going to finish installing, and then you're pretty much done with the entire process. Now I'm going to show you guys some stuff inside the game as well as um, in another video, but this is just going to be a very, very, very brief um, look at the game on, uh, on what's on the inside. 
Um, it is a very interesting game, and it's a lot of fun. Um, and um, even with the game patched, it's still um, it's still kind of challenging in some some aspects. So um, let's go ahead and finish installing here. Once it finishes installing, I'll go ahead and um, let me just do one thing here. See if this might help. Um, once it finishes, once it finishes installing, I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the things you can tell if it did work or not. If it didn't work, um, there are some things you can use to tell. Um, but uh, it, it, if you did it the way I did it, it should work. Now, there's sometimes see it just finishes installing, finished installing. Now, sometimes if your Android version is too low. If your Android version is too low, then it's probably not going to work. Um, but I pre I did this on 4.4.2 KitKat. Um, I have this thing called Lookout. Just I'm just going to click Remind Me Later. It's not it, it it it's riskware, but like it doesn't affect your phone. Well, it's not it's it's not dangerous. It's not a virus. So because um, I had this on my phone before and it didn't do anything. So press Open. And just like any normal app that you would get from Google Play. It's going to act just like any other app. I'm going to cut that down for you guys. Um, it's going to act like just uh, or like any other app. So I'm going to press start here. And then this is just, I'm just going to tap through. Um, so once you finish here, um, press OK. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to shop. And then you want to go to, uh, you want to click on where you have your gems and your coins, you want to click on the plus button. And then as you can see here, you can see instead of saying buy for 99 cents or buy for $100, what it says is zero, buy 0 0.33. Now, that's just the number that Lucky Patrick puts in so that you it kind of lets you know if it worked or not. So if I click on buy here, as you can see, we have this pop up here. So what you want to do is you want to probably, what you most likely want to do is you want to go to the bottom of the gem shop you want to click on the most value gems that you can get so this one right here click on auto repeat purchases with current settings um uh and you if you want you can press save purchase for restore so i'm going to click on that too press yes and then it bought three thousand gems as you can see uh you can turn off a word chance so i can close that go to home and i can go to um, I can go to settings here, and I can click on uh, cut off reward video ads. I can go back to the gem shop, and I can do this as many times as I want without having to go back to that page, or uh, that lucky that lucky packer that lucky patcher page. <laughs> Tongue twisters here. So basically, a quick overview of this game: you have a or you have your restaurant, your hunt, and your shop. The shop is where you can buy recipes, hunt items, and supermarket um, ingredients. Um, the hunt is where you can go ahead and hunt for different animals. And then in the restaurant, this is how you make uh, all your food to serve to the to, to serve to customers that come by. So I'll go ahead and make a complete uh, tutorial on this game, or not really tutorial, but gameplay. So. That is how you hack Hunt Cook with Lucky Patcher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below for any suggestions for any other games. Or if you want me to continue making videos on this game. Um, I will put my Instagram and Musical.ly and stuff in the description. So if you guys want me at, to add me on Instagram and Musical.ly, I'll go ahead and put my uh, little username and stuff in the description. But other than that, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want me to make more uh, tutorials on Lucky Patcher to patch other games that you guys might want to find out if they're patchable or not, just let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye